Welcome to Nakik World Podcast, coming to you live from Beijing, the capital city of the People's Republic of China. I am your host, RJ. Welcome back. Blessed New Year to all. I hope you have enjoyed your time with Stacy. She will be joining us soon. And today I want to focus on the theme setting personal goals. You know, whenever we start a new year, it is normal to set New Year's resolutions. In Wikipedia, we can read, a New Year's resolution is a tradition most common in the Western Hemisphere, but also found in the Eastern Hemisphere, in which a person resolves to continue good practices, to change an undesired trait or behavior, to accomplish a personal goal, or otherwise improve their life at the start of a new year. So that is what New Year's resolutions are. Another way of putting this is setting personal goals for this year. Everyone wants to find ways to better themselves as we strive towards continuous self-development to be able to become a better person and achieve more. Isn't that so? Personal goals are set to grow and mature as, as, as people, to, to develop new skills, to be successful professionally, to practice compassion and gentleness, and to have a fulfilling family life. You know, personal goals are the expressions of the things you want to achieve for yourself in life. When you think about what you want to achieve in life and set goals towards achieving, achieving them, you will become more self-motivated and positive. Your specific goals can be in the form of short-term goals or long-term goals. They can provide you with long-term direction and short-term motivation. Now, goal setting is a process that not only helps us to get better results, but also to be feel motivated and to take responsibility for our actions. You're listening to Naki World Podcast coming to you live from Beijing, the capital city of the People's Republic of China. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Naki World Podcast platform. Our email address, podcast at nacinchina.com. Now let us look deeper into goal setting. To be more proactive and productive, we have to learn how to set specific personal goals that we can use to measure our personal growth and progress. In other words, our goals have to be SMART, S-M-A-R-T. What are SMART goals? Well, the S in SMART stands for specific. You target a specific area for improvement. You make each goal specific so you know exactly what it is. Take some time to clearly define your goals and sub-goals. The more detail about what your goals are and how you intend to achieve them, the better. Make sure that your goal is really clear. Sometime, sometimes we fall into the trap of chasing vague ideas of a goal. You need to make sure that you understand what exactly it is you want to accomplish. For example, getting rich is not specific. What is rich? You want to be a millionaire, a billionaire, live off passive income, earn six figures? These all require different strategies. So make sure to be specific. That is what the S stands for in SMART. The N is for measurable. You quantify or suggest an indicator of progress for measurable goals. This sometimes can be very, very difficult. But you must make each goal measurable. So you know how you are progressing. You need to be able to see how you are progressing to reach your goals. And what kind of metrics can you use to measure your progress? Your measurable goals must be quantitative, not qualitative. There's an exact measure that shows when you've achieved your goal. Depending on what you want to achieve, finding a measure can be quite challenging. But if you set goals, it must be measurable. But with a little thought, you know, you can find a measure for most goals. For example, a goal like becoming a better public speaker. How do you measure that? 
If you turn it into, for example, improve my average feedback ratings of the public talks by 30%, that is measurable. You can measure your feedback ratings. Just becoming a better public speaker is not so easy to measure. So that's the M in SMART goals. Then, so we've covered S, M, and now A is for achievable or attainable. Don't set impossible goals. Make sure that each goal and sub-goal is attainable. The larger the goal, the more impossible it may seem. But if you split it down into simple sub-goals, then you will find each step is more attainable. I would like to quote Theodore Roosevelt, who said, Keep your eyes on the stars, but remember to keep your feet on the ground. You need to find the right balance for you. Big enough to motivate you to greatness and grounded enough to see a path to success. So that is the A in goal setting, in smart goal setting, right? Then we come to the next one, which is R. R is for realistic or relevant your goal. You must state what results can realistically be achieved given the available resources at your disposal. Make your goals relevant. Ensure your sub-goals are relevant to your life goals. Try not to set goals that don't ultimately help you to achieve your overall life goals. You know, it's, it is difficult, to say the least, to achieve goals that are not relevant to you. You'll have to expand a lot of energy and stay motivated over a long period to complete your quest. If your goal has no relevance to you, why bother? The whole point of personal goal setting is to guide your way and keep you motivated. Do not choose a goal that leads you astray or sabotage your motivation. Right? That is the realistic part of it. And in the last, the T stands for time related or time bound. You would specify the time frame when the results can be achieved. Whatever goal you have must be time bound be time related specifically say in this frame of time I want to achieve it. Set time limits or deadlines for each goal and sub goal. If you can set and stick to realistic deadlines then you'll avoid too much distraction or procrastination and you keep yourself motivated. The time frame will also influence your strategy for achieving your goal. You will have to act differently if you have one year then if you have five years. So if your time uh, bound uh, specifically for a goal is one year, your strategies will be different if it's five years, right? There is also a huge danger of postponing your dreams because something urgent came up. It's much easier to resist the urge of the urgent when your dreams have a deadline. You know, must have deadline to your dreams. Right? So by setting clearly defined personal goals, you can measure your achievements and keep sight of your progress. If you fail to achieve at one step, you can reassess your situation and try new approaches. Keeping your life goals, goals clearly defined and updated as your circumstances change and evolve is one of the most powerful ways to keep yourself motivated throughout life. Your personal smart goals can be just about anything. You will only have to be sure that you can muscle the discipline, resources and requirements you will need to achieve them. You are listening to Naki World Podcast coming to you live from Beijing, the capital city of the People's Republic of China. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Naki World Podcast platform. Our email address podcast at nacinchina.com It is important to remember when thinking about what you would like to achieve in your life that change is inevitable. Your circumstances and priorities will change throughout your life. For example, you may realize at the age of 40 that you are never going to be a concert pianist as you planned when you were 19 for example when you set the goal. However, there will be other things that you can achieve instead and you can still continue to improve your piano playing and get pleasure from it. When thinking about your personal goals, it is a good idea to make them challenging and exciting. Base them on your strengths, but make them relevant to you 
and ultimately achievable. Once you've thought about your life goals, you can now start to plan how best to achieve them. Set yourself smaller goals for the future. In 10 years, I will be this. In 5 years, I will be this. Whatever. And it will be useful to categorize your goals into short term, intermediate term and long term. Now, short term goals are those that you want to accomplish within a few months or up to two years. Intermediate goals are more aspirational. They typically takes at least a year to accomplish, but are more com commonly targeted at five years. Sometimes they can even span decades. Use these type of goals to follow your dreams, like building a company or buying a house. When your perspective is even longer than intermediate term, we are talking about long term goals. Things that you want to achieve in your lifetime. This might be your legacy or grand personal achievements. For example, what you want to give your children, you know, every, that you want to give your children everything that they need to, for a fulfilled life, or to win a world championship, to live off passive income. You should also divide your goals into personal and work related areas. Personal goal setting revolves around what you want to achieve besides professional success. For example, your achievements in sports, in the family life, personal development, finances, health, these are personal goals. Career goals focuses on furthering your career. These goals are bridges between personal goals and work-related goals because they focus on your personal career, not on your company, uh, company's future. Examples would be examples of career goals would be like getting promoted, negotiating a pay raise, or taking on more responsibilities. Business goals are not the goals of a person, but that of a business. So those are also goals that you can have. For example, if you have your own business, then you set personal business goals. I mean, that. You're listening to Naki World Podcast coming to you live from Beijing, the capital city of the People's Republic of China. Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Naki World Podcast platform. Our email address, podcast at nacinchina.com. So we have come to the final segment. And as with anything in life, the setting goals is not enough. You have to review your goals regularly, perhaps even every few months, and certainly every year, to make sure that firstly the goals are still relevant to what you want to achieve, secondly, you are on track to achieve them, and lastly, if you're not on track, you need to revise them in line with your current situation at that point in time when you assess it. Your goals need to motivate you and excite you. It's a core cool principle of goal setting. It doesn't matter if you haven't had as much time as you would have liked to devote to learning to play the piano, for example. But it doesn't matter if you haven't done anything towards it because you're really not that bothered about it. The whole point of personal goal setting is to take control of your life and proactively steer it where you want to go. It is not enough though just to set goals you need to constantly keep planning join us next time when we will talk about your action plan to achieve your goals and let me end with a quote by albert einstein if you want to live a happy life tie it to a goal not to people or things that brings us to the end of this episode Please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Naki World Podcast platform. Our email address, podcast at nacinchina.com. Naki World Podcast is broadcasted twice weekly, every Tuesday and Thursday at 1500 hours, 3 p.m. Beijing time. Until next time, till we meet again, goodbye from a lovely Beijing in the People's Republic of China.